Should I ship this delicious goodness to you via DHL? Or should I take you to my kitchen and show you how I came about this delicious goodness? Now I think the letter will be better. So follow me to my kitchen. Let me show you how I prepare this delicious goodness. Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making obono and okra soup. I'm be making use of some dry catfish already deboned. I'll also be making use of some blended crayfish. I'm making use of some palm oil, some iru, alright. I'm going to be making use of iru. You can use obei if you like, alright. I'm also going to be making use of stockfish, not much, just a little. I'm going to be making use of some salt and stock cube. I'm basically using I use three stock and um, cube at the end. I'm making use of some sweet pepper, two sweet pepper, and scotch bonnet pepper, six scotch bonnet pepper. I'm also making use of some beef, and then I'll be making use of obono already blended. All right. I'm also going to be making use of okra, and I will be using this lot because I'm cooking a large soup. All right, I'm making use of two different vegetables. I'll be making use of ugu leaf and I'll also be making use of uzza leaf. Uzza just add a unique taste to this soup. So fam, let's get started into this proper. Remember, you can use any protein of choice and you can also use any vegetable of choice like spinach. I also have my bomo already on fire. So fam, you can see my obomo is already cooked for like 80%. So I'm going to go ahead at this point to add all the proteins to this and then allow you to continue cooking until all of them are tender. So I'll go ahead and add my beef. I'm also going to be adding my stock fish. I will add my already deboned catfish, all right? I will also be adding my stock cube at this time i'll be making use of two stock cube and then i will also add some salt to this just a little quantity of salt basically and then i will give this a quick mix to combine properly and then cover it to cook until it's tender please be mindful of how you add salt to obono it can get salty most times all right fam so at this point i like a little stock in my obono um if it were to be vegetable soup i do not like stock but for all okra and obono i like a little stock not much all right so i'm gonna be chopping my vegetable into tiny bits i like cutting my vegetables myself i do not like cutting it in the market it just help you wash it properly and then cut to desired size all right so fam i'm also going to be cutting my ozuza leaf like i said ozuza just add so unique a yummy taste to this dish it also adds some heat to it it just takes this soup to another level if you've never added ozeza to your omono or okra soup please try it you would definitely love it all right so i'm gonna chop it into smaller chunks all right and then set that aside so fam this is my okra I'm going to be using my knife to chop this okra. But if you want this smoother, you can use my chopper. You can use your chopper. I have a video where I use this chopper. I will drop it in the description box. So fam, I'm going to be chopping this into chunks. I just want to have tiny bits of okra when I'm enjoying my delicious obono and okra soup. If you don't like it this size, you can use that chopper or cut it into any desired size. But I'm chopping it this way. So in a pan, I'm going to go ahead and add my palm oil. I will not allow this to heat. At this point, I've already set my gas to low to medium heat. I do not like cooking my obono soup with high heat because obono can burn like obono can burn real well. So in any way to get it is just to cook on low heat. All right. So I'm going to go ahead at this point to add my obono. All right. And remember I said i'm operating on low to medium heat so i'm going to mix this properly like give it a good mix until every crumbs melt all right you can see how good it looks so i'm going to go ahead and slowly decant this stock i got from the proteins please be careful because there are a lot of things you can get from this if you don't take your time so slowly decant it and man you wouldn't want this 
in your umbono soup so i'm gonna give this a thickness to combine properly and then i will cover this to cook for the next two minutes after which we come back and see what it looks like so fam remember i was turning this i was kind of stirring this occasionally because if you don't do this your own bono will get burnt you can see how slimy it's already looking but it's too thick so the stock wasn't enough i'm going to go ahead at this point to add more water to this please remember to stir occasionally you can see that it didn't get burnt because i was stirring it continuously so i'm going to add a little water to this because this is definitely too thick now you can see that bubbles i just love those bubbles so i'm going to add a little water to it and then bring it to boil So from add a little water to it and then give it a quick stir to combine properly. Don't worry, don't worry, it's going to mix up when it starts boiling. You won't even get to sit down water anymore. So do not worry, it's going to mix up properly, trust me. So I'm going to go ahead at this point to cover it and allow it to cook on low to medium heat for the next three minutes after three minutes guys this is what we have you can see how good this soup is already looking the color is popping it's so slimy at this point and i like the consistency i wouldn't want it to be too watery or too thick so i just love what i have here so fam i'm going to go ahead and add other things to this i'll be making use of my peppers please remember i said i love hot i love it hot okay so do you i already explained what i have in here but i'm gonna leave the link also in the description box so i added my pepper my locust bean like i said you can use obey if you like i'm also going to go ahead at this point to add my blended crayfish and then i will give this a quickness to combine properly all right please once you add your crayfish ensure you give a quick mist a very good mist for it to combine properly because crayfish has a way of aiding in the burning of obono like they are five and six all right so i'm gonna add one stock cube to this the salt is okay be very careful when adding salt to your obono it can get salty so easily so i will cover this up and allow it to mix together for the next three minutes after three minutes guys this is what we have it looks so good already so at this point i'm just going to add all the proteins back to the meat stock this is just to enable everything to combine properly and you're gonna love it trust me so here comes my proteins i'm gonna combine add it up and then give it a quick means to combine properly guys just just take a look at this delicious goodness it looks so good already trust me it doesn't just look good the aroma in my kitchen at this point is so heavily so guys i'm just gonna cover this up for the next two minutes so that everything can combine properly after two minutes guys this is what we have and at this point i'm gonna go ahead and add all my vegetables i like combining all my vegetables at the same time because i wouldn't want any of them to be overcooked all right so i'll go ahead and add my okra you can see how the chunks look like i said if you want it to be in tiny bits please use your chopper or cut to your desired um size that you want i'm going to also add my ozaza leaf and my ogo leaf like this ozaza and an ogo combined with your okra takes your okra to the next level so i'm gonna cover this up and allow you to cook for the next two minutes i do not like my veggies to overcook like i still want it fresh all right so i'll cover this and allow you to cook for the next two minutes so fam after two minutes this is what we have you can see how good this already looks the color is popping everything about this soup just looks so great all right guys it didn't the color is not just popping the taste is amazing the aroma in my kitchen at this point is just heavily like guys 
try out this recipe and you will love it if you've not subscribed to my channel please support me subscribe and then turn on the bell notification so that you get notified anytime i post a new video bye